Nothing quite like a day at the lakes and thanks to a growing program, you can check the conditions of all five Madison lakes before you head out the door. Emily Ness continues our state of our lakes coverage tonight. She's got you covered on Clean Lakes Alliance's Lake Forecast Program. Lori Wallman has long loved lakes. The second my kids can get in the water, <laughs> They are in the water and I'm usually with them. And when she moved to a home on Lake Wingra in McFarland, she knew she wanted to help preserve it. There are a million reasons we want to protect the lakes, right? Whether it's for environmental reasons, economic reasons, or just pure pleasure. You know, we use the lakes for recreation as well. So Wallman became a volunteer for the Lake Forecast Program by Clean Lakes Alliance. The program relies on dozens of volunteers to test lakes Mendota, Monona, Wabisa, Kagansa, and Wingra twice a week from Memorial Day to Labor Day. It's water temperature, um, water clarity, turbidity, um, it, whether or not there's presence of algae, waterfowl, swimmers. Information volunteers collect is uploaded to both the Lake Forecast website and the Lake Forecast app for people to see in real time. Users can track everything from water temperature to water clarity. That's on top of tracking the presence of algae and wildlife. It's been seven years already that we signed up for lake monitors. Arlene and Jeff Koziel also volunteer for the program and have watched it grow over time. It's a lot of fun. The program was established in 2012 and the first water quality reports were collected in 2013 at 10 nearshore locations. Today, the program has grown to include 87 nearshore and seven offshore sites. So much of health revolves around prevention and clean water is part of good health. All hope to see even more progress over time. We all should be invested in the lakes because um, they bring so much to the area and they are such treasures. Emily Ness for 27 News.